Cool Up. Cool Up was played by Miriam Islanders in the Torres Strait. Cool Up refers to the seed or bean of the syrup, the Queensland bean. The seed or bean, used commonly for spinning tops, was also used in a game similar to marbles, where a Cool Up would be thrown to land on a mat or as close to a line marked on the ground. You need targets, such as discs or hoops on the ground, and you can replace the Cool Ups with botcha balls, bean bags or crumpled paper. Choose a suitable indoor or outdoor playing area and mark it out with cones. Players are divided into two teams and are given equal amounts of cool ups. Teams sit or stand at one end of the playing area. Targets are placed at a suitable distance, one for each team. Players aim at their own target area, scoring one point for each cool up in the target area. After everyone is thrown, add up the scores. Play continues until a nominated score is reached by one of the teams, for example 20, or a time limit has elapsed, for example one minute. Variations on the basic cool up game include having one player on each team nominated as striker. His job is to attack the opposition's balls and try to knock their scoring balls out. This develops teamwork and decision making. You can experiment with different types of targets using a box to elevate the target area to change the angle of throw, or placing one target inside another then scoring different points for different zones. Or make the target area bigger or smaller, or change the distance players are required to throw to match players' abilities. Again, use Tree as a guide to finding the variations that work best for you. Y.E. is a traditional game from the Torres Strait. On Miriam Island, a ball game called Y.E. was played. In this game, the thick oval fruit of the Y.E. tree was used. When dried, it was light and easy to hit and keep in the air. Participants would cheerfully recite the Y.E. wet or ball song as the ball was rhythmically hit from person to person. Later, the fruit of the Y.E. tree was replaced by balls made by weaving pandanus strips to form hollow cubes or cylinders. The modern variation requires an indoor or outdoor area and sponge ball, balloons or beach ball instead of the Y.E. fruit. Players stand or sit in a circle and using a volleyball-like hitting action make as many consecutive hits as they can. Each time the ball is hit, players call out a letter of the alphabet. The team starts from the letter A again if the player misses the ball and it hits the ground. Hits the ball twice in succession, hits the ball back to the player who previously hit it to them, or catches or traps the ball with any part of their body. Variations on YE could include allowing younger players to pass and catch, with players attempting to return the ball as quickly as possible. Allowing beginners to start again at the letter of the alphabet they reached rather than returning to A. Players' names being used instead of the alphabet, a great way of introducing players to each other. Permitting two hits per player to keep the game flowing and in a further variation, having one player stand in the middle of the circle and hit the ball to another player who hits it back to the player in the middle. If the ball hits the ground, the player in the middle is changed. The aim is to keep the player in the middle as long as possible. Consult the tree model to suggest some ways of modifying the game.